Today on Sally, high school gossip hurts. People were saying that I worship the devil. But when it's posted on the web, it could ruin your child's life. There was even a rumor that I sacrificed animals. You sacrificed an animal? He called me white trash. Two kids that we know of almost committed suicide over at this website. I was ashamed to go out in public. Cyber gossip mongers confronted. This is unforgivable. Today on Sally. Loves a good piece of juicy gossip, especially if it's about like a favorite uh, celebrity or a political figure, something like that. However, loose lips, they used to say, loose lips sink ships. Loose lips can lead to very hurt feelings, bad reputation, and in some case, ruined lives. Take a look at this. At one time or another, I think we've all done our share of gossiping. Whether we're the ones spreading the dirt or just merely listening, these rumors, and often flat-out lies, can be devastating. Today, the internet has added a whole new dimension to the gossip game. While teenagers will still whisper in the cafeterias and chatter in the hallways, chat rooms and entire websites are devoted to hateful gossip, and they've extended the pain way beyond the afternoon bell. Now, Courtney is an 18-year-old high school senior. About a year ago, a student at her school started up an unauthorized website. And this quickly filled up with hurtful messages about Courtney and about some other students. Mm -hmm. Before we talk to Courtney, uh, we must point out this website. And these websites for high schools are generally not sanctioned, authorized, or supported by the school. Listening us to us backstage, by the way, is the creator of this website, the one that really hurt her. Now, nobody at the school knows this person's name or true identity. You're going to know soon enough, I think. Courtney, it made your life a living hell? Yes, it did. Tell me what happened, honey. Um, I was a sophomore in high school. You were 16? I was 16 going on 17. I had friends, but like I was like more overweight than I am now, and like so everybody like at my school was like you have to be picture perfect to have friends and stuff. So it was already hard enough, and then I fell in love with this guy, and on my 17th birthday I got pregnant by him, and he dumped me two days later. Were you going to carry the baby to term? Yes, because I don't okay, believe in abortion. Okay, you were going to carry the baby yeah. to term, but you hadn't told your family. No, because I just found out I was pregnant. I was only. But you told this guy. Yeah, I'm the guy that had got me pregnant. A um, lot of guys are, can be pretty unethical because yeah. <laughs> he's the one who told somebody. He told who um, one of the girls that went to my school, and um, she happened to be best friends with my boyfriend now that um, before he was interested in me, and then my boyfriend broke up with me, and she told him, oh, she's pregnant, and, you know, I don't want to um, be, I don't want you to be with a girl that's already been knocked up or whatever, and she just, like, she just, um, she just t kept telling him stuff, and he got with me anyways. I've been with him now a year and a half, so it's just he 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 told everybody that even if it wasn't his kid, that it wasn't his baby, that he'd take care of it. He he tried to be sounds like a really good guy. Yeah, so. so just as there was the big blabbermouth guy, then there's a good guy. But what did this do to you when it was on the website? Um, I didn't even know there was a website until um, May, and then I went on it. Like someone there was. One day we just went to school and someone just threw flyers off the balcony at school and there's stacks in the girls' bathroom, stack in the boys' bathroom. What did they say about um, you? It was just that, like, um, I took a pregnancy test and it said it was negative and then I took another one because I wasn't, like, I just felt that I was, so, and then it said it was positive. So they kept saying, they said, um, the headline was pregnant or not, um, Courtney's making it up, she's, she's a liar, she, she told her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend that she wasn't pregnant and that she's just doing it to get attention and so everybody thought I was lying but I got a note from my doctor, brought it to school, proved it to them that I wasn't lying so it stopped but it didn't stop. I mean it just like kept saying stuff that 
um, like I was a liar and that. You're 16. I think high school for most people stinks. Yeah. I really <laughs> honestly do. It's a time of intense. Kids can be just terrible. It's hard enough to be in high school. It's hard enough to do that. But to have these websites, so it said really hurtful things. Yeah, it, it, I what mean. What was just, the next thing it said? Um, it just like kept saying I would lie every week that I was pregnant and that I. Was, Even after you showed everybody. Yeah, it just it stayed on there until um, my boyfriend Nick he wrote a, a, a email to them saying you know this is wrong I don't want my this you know I this is hurting me too because you know she's my girlfriend and they wrote him two seconds later he got an email back saying you know we'll take her name off the off the website we're really sorry from like when that happened I had people whispering in the halls like don't not to talk to me people wouldn't talk to me I had like no friends and like everybody was just like the only one that stuck by me was my boyfriend and it just caused me so much stress what happened to the baby I um, had a miscarriage I think it was caused the doctor said it was caused by mainly stress and like just like me being 17 too was just like made it even worse. So it could be, the doctor said, that you could have had this miscarriage because of the stress of everyone taunting you uh -huh. and teasing you at school. Now Courtney, I want to speak to the guy who is the head of this website, the uh -huh. one at your school. Okay. okay. I want to find out if he's kicked out or not kicked out. So I want to send you to a soundproof area. Okay. Will you go? Yeah. Would you go over there, please? Okay. okay. One year on a website to make somebody feel really bad. Okay. Webmaster. Yes, Sally. I'm right here. Why did you start the site in the first place? I started this website for a lot of reasons. Um, one was to stop rumors from getting bigger than they actually were. I wanted to keep rumors at stage one. What do you mean you stopped rumors? These websites are all filled with rumors. Yes, but I wanted to stop it from getting bigger than it actually was. At the beginning of the day... Well, wait. You, you, people are calling a girl who's really pregnant a liar, and it's left on for one year, and that's how you stop rumors? She, she could have easily emailed us, and we would have taken it off right away. When she emailed us, I mean, when her boyfriend emailed us, he said, I don't want it on there. And but by then, it's been a year. I don't, Did they he, know how to email you? He should have emailed us sooner because uh, the email address has always been on there. Is and it then, still running? It's still running now. And it was, it's, it's been up and, and, uh, and it's been there now because I, this is protected by freedom of speech. And do you care who you hurt? Do, do I care who I what? Hurt. Who I hurt? I... I, I do care. I try not to hurt well, people. I mean, do you think this girl was not hurt? You just heard what Courtney said. Do you think she was not hurt? I think she is hurt, and I and I understand that. But the thing is, I'm I'm not responsible for the gossip that's put on there. It's you are the webmaster. You're responsible for everything that goes on the website. Yes, I am. Uh, everything that goes on the website is is filtered <sighs> through me. But it I'm just the messenger. <laughs> okay, I I think you guys in the audience have to make your own decision. Next, Courtney is going to confront the mystery webmaster. You see, no one in the school and Courtney, they do not know who this is. We're going to ask them to come out. Stay with us. <laughs> Next. You do not feel at all guilty of what you've done to her for a year or maybe causing her to lose the baby or having every friend turn against her? I really don't, don't feel guilty at all. You hurt people, dude. Courtney said she would really like to punch you out. <laughs> yeah? I got, I got a whole list of people I want to kick your ass. lies and how they can often destroy lives. Uh, we are about to meet a teenager who started a very controversial website at his high school that has become a hotbed of very hateful gossip. And nobody in the school, the school itself, the kids, no one knows who he is. He is revealing his identity for the first time. His name is Danny. Let's bring Danny out. Danny, 
what you look like doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not in the high school. Okay. Are the kids going to be surprised when they think it's when they find out it's you? Um, a lot of them will. Sally. Why did you keep it quiet as to who you were? I kept it quiet because I wanted to. I didn't wanted to avoid all school conflict. All like I didn't want them harassing me or giving me any problems because of the website. Would the school have harassed you? Yes, I got an email from a school official saying that he. He wanted to prosecute us to the fullest extent of the law. He can't under free speech. I know, right? but that's why I didn't want to right. harass Why are you here today, especially when I feel that you really did something very damaging to Courtney? Every single person in the school shunned her except one guy. Mm -hmm. All her friends turned on her. You had to, being in that school, know that was happening. Yes, I knew. You knew, knew they were shunning. I knew. I, I, Do you feel guilty about what you've done to Courtney actually, or anybody else? I really don't don't feel guilty at all because I, I didn't. I'm not the one that wrote anything on there. I just I posted it, and then uh, for, as for the message board, I everything on there is posted by individuals. By any, any individual. So you do school. not feel at all guilty of what I, you've done to her for a year or maybe causing her to lose the baby or having every friend turn against her? I don't think so. I don't I didn't do anything in particular like that. I didn't I all I did was I hosted this website, I I kept it open. Are you nervous about meeting her? I'm nervous about meeting Courtney? Yeah. No, not at all. I'm not nervous at all. All right, her. let's bring Courtney and, out. Did you know it was him? I had a suspicion it was him. You did have a suspicion yes, it was him. Yes, the whole school had a suspicion it was him. Okay. <laughs> oh. Now that you see him, what's going through your mind? I'm just mad because like... What do you want to say to him? I've been cool with you for like a long time and then you're going to go do that to me, dude? Yeah, I... That, that, I don't care if you're going to say whatever, dude. That's so messed up. Even if you didn't write it, you shouldn't have put it on there. You've been friends with me. I've been friends with your girlfriend. <laughs> My question to you is, knowing that what you did was immoral, do you care whether you're moral or not? I don't think what I did was immoral. You do not think that no. what you did was immoral? Most of the people you talked about on your website were cheerleaders, wrestlers, it's, jocks. It's and what, because, the, because they made fun of you. No. Because they made, yes, that's they did. Not it. It's because whatever the emails that come in. By the way, Courtney said she would really like to punch you out, and, and I can't blame yeah. her. Uh, Let me tell you something very strongly about Courtney. You have said a number of things about a number of people on the website. I haven't said anything. They were all posted. But you didn't okay. have to post it. You have posted a number of things on the website uh, that were uh, very hurtful to a number of people. Uh, we've called these people. We've talked to these people. Every single one of these people were afraid to appear except for Courtney. Now, Courtney was brave enough, the only one in your entire school who had any guts was Courtney. I'm going to let the two of you go backstage. I think you have to come to an understanding that by doing what you did, you've really hurt people. Are you continuing with the website? I'm, I'm going to continue as long as it takes. Okay. I think you and I have a problem with something called morality. I really honestly do. You know I don't what? know how your parents brought you up. Freedom of speech might uh, Wait, there is freedom of speech. And there's the freedom of speech. This is a, technic a, a typical case. To scream fire in a theater, it's your freedom of speech to do it. To have people trampled and killed, it's immoral. There's a line, and your parents should have told you where that line is, young man. That wouldn't be freedom of speech. Imagine somebody saying that you were fat. Imagine somebody saying that you were trailer trash. Imagine somebody putting down your race. Imagine somebody putting down your religion. We're going to find out how two young ladies survived the wrath of rumors on the web. If they did survive, or are they running away? We'll be right back. And now, from our reaction room, it just makes me really mad to find out that it was him after all this time. Danny, you're wrong for doing this. It's hurting a lot of people that don't need that in their life. It's, it's freedom of speech and it's gonna, the rumors are always gonna be out there. Now that they're written down, people should just start accepting that. Next. Call me white trash. People 
Um, we're saying that I uh, worship the devil. And they don't want to be seen with me. Later. After all he's done to me, I'd rather not him apologize because I wouldn't even accept his apology for whatever he's done to me. it is being a teenager. I think it would be really difficult if your fellow students were burning up the web writing nasty rumors about you. Now with Courtney a part of the rumor was true. Yes she was pregnant. Most of it was not true. No she was not faking it. But in this case completely untrue. Completely. This is Meredith and Jennifer. They're 18 year olds. They say one gossip website turned their lives upside down. Jennifer, awful things were said about you. What were they? One day I was um, surfing around on the web and didn't have much to do. And I remember someone saying something about a message board that the old, my old school had. So I did a search for it and I found it. And I saw a posting that just pretty much described me. It said, it called me white trash and saying that I was poor and that I dressed badly and that I was fat and ugly and that's why I didn't have any friends is what they said. Mm -hmm. huh. There's something wrong with the United States if being poor is a sin. Being mm -hmm. poor is not a sin. It was founded by a whole group of poor people and an awful lot of poor people. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did this do to you, Jennifer? It made me think maybe that is why nobody likes me. Maybe it's because I'm fat and they don't want to be seen with me. And you know, maybe it's because of my clothes. Maybe people are that shallow that they don't want to be my friend because of the way I look. Because of your clothes. So you believed that. I started to believe that. Meredith, a lot of gossip had to do with the way you dress. Can't see anything wrong with it. What were people <laughs> saying? Um, people um, were saying that I uh, worship the devil and... Um, you were a Satan worshiper. No. <laughs> no, no. I mean, they said you oh, were. Oh, yes. They said Why? I was. Because I have black hair and... Um, because you have black skin. hair? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There was um, even a rumor that... That uh -huh. I... Uh, <laughs> Here. I, that I uh, sacrificed animals. You sacrificed animals? Not one word of any of this has any truth at all. What did this do to you? Well, I, would, I remember being so upset and people would just... I remember walking in the cafeteria and people would dare each other to come up to me and talk to me. And, um, <laughs> um, I was, of course, saying, you know, this isn't true. Like, what, you know, how did you hear about this? Well, I heard from so and so, and I'm like, but they don't even know me. How would they know? Okay, it's time you meet the people responsible for the site where this gossip about you was posted. Would Ty and Zach come on out? Have you, either of you, ever met them? Just over email, really, uh, from Meredith. Actually. What did she email you? Um, she actually emailed us to uh, take off the uh, post off the website uh, that she, you know, about like uh, either, well, it was just about the, the whole thing on the website, about what had been said about Meredith, actually. And uh, we took it off as Do she requested. Do re you feel responsible at all for either of you for the pain? caused her? Actually, what we, what we do is actually we provide a tool for, uh, for, for free speech. And uh, if someone takes advantage of the system, um, you know, that's, that's horrible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, things like this shouldn't happen, but, you know, when people just go well, out no, there, wait. It's, As it's webmasters, you have the right to not post that. No one is for it. There's no free speech that says you've got to post that. There's no law that says you've got to post that. Well, actually, no law. 
our, our website's a little different. We provide a tool where they post the messages themselves. But you don't have to do it. You don't have to put it on your website. Well, it goes immediately on it as soon as they post it. Exactly. It's a message board and it's real time. As soon as someone hits the enter button, it's on the website. Can you take can it off it. if you want to? Yes, yes, we can. The minute you see it's hurtful, couldn't you erase it? Yes. Yes. Did you? Uh, actually, at that time, no. Talk to them, Meredith. You guys should probably pay more attention to you know what's on the website and not let this stuff be on there because it hurts people, it ruins people's lives. It made my high school life very, very hard, harder than it should have been. And well, I didn't deserve it. Nobody deserves that. It was not. It was not. The site was not created for you know that to happen to you, Meredith. Uh, ba basically, what the site was created for was for you guys to get to get together. Have some fun, maybe over the web, uh, you know, to have more of a sense of a community for the students to get together and talk about different things like, you know, homework and stuff like that. When people take advantage of it, I mean, we try to handle stuff like that, but it's uh, it's very difficult. Fun, having fun, calling somebody a Satan worshiper. That's that's not fun. No, in that's, Dallas, uh, that's not fun. <laughs> we try and do what we can to keep stuff like that away. That's mm -hmm. not our intention of the website. What, what about Jennifer? Jennifer, uh, I don't I, remember that. I don't exactly remember her story, but I, I do know that people do email us uh, at different points in time and ask us to if remove posts. If somebody post. emails you, I need hope with the trig, help with the trig homework. I understand that. Uh -huh. But if somebody says, this is a girl named Jennifer who is poor, well, <laughs> and, and, and she is fat and she is stupid, do you think that's something that's of genuine value that, that uh... I, I don't feel that it's value but I do feel that uh, that yes we're trying to provide freedom of speech but we don't want anything to, like that to hurt anyone uh, so we will take stuff like that off the website if someone requests. I think uh, what I'm hearing is an awful lot of people have a very misguided idea of what freedom of speech is. Jennifer tell them what, tell them what you told me. Tell them what they did to you. This followed her to another school. I couldn't make any friends because I didn't want to try because I thought because they thought I was fat that I couldn't be seen with anyone and I thought I was ashamed I was ashamed to go out in public because of what somebody had said to me that doesn't even know me they think I'm a bad person I, I don't know what to say to that I, all I can say is is that we just provide a tool over the internet and I'm, I'm sorry that did happen to you Jennifer but we provide a tool over the internet for people to go post all kinds of different things over the web and like I say, we do try to monitor it. But you're not doing a good enough job. If people are still getting hurt, you're not doing it right. On this television show, suppose I decided to go to your town and list all the very fat people in Dallas, or all the people with black hair who have to be Satan worshipers. We've learned that today, <laughs> that if you have black hair, you've got to be a Satan worshiper. Suppose I decided to sit and use this television show that way. This would be my right, according to you. Now, but is this the right thing to do? You're comparing it to the wrong thing. It's more like if you went to Dallas and made a big chalkboard and you said, whoever wants to write anything on here can do that. Well, I could, could take a whole lot of people and say, anybody you know in Dallas that's a real terrible person, you come on my television show and, uh, and say that. Right, and it's those people saying that. But you know what? Do you know why they wouldn't get on? Why? because I wouldn't let them. If it happened to your kids, if it happened to your kids, you would be furious. I see what you're saying. Next, from the cafeterias to the hallways, rumors are painful when they're whispered. So there are other ways of having gossip. We'll be right back. And now, from our reaction room. I don't think Ty and Zach cared at all that they hurt us. They didn't seem to show any remorse. It didn't seem like they cared if it hurts anyone else, either. Meredith and Jennifer, uh, I'd like to say I'm sorry about what happened on the website. But, like I say, uh, I cannot stop people from putting what they put on the website. Uh, if I could, I would. Uh, but I think that that would be imposing in on our rights for freedom of speech. 
next. They say she's a lesbian. I don't know, I just get mad easy. Amber, he would like to apologize. After all he's done to me, I wouldn't even accept his apology. She's talked suicide now. Anybody gives you any guff, you turn around and you give it right back. You are the guy. Get off my stage. We didn't always have the internet, right? In fact, our show is older than the internet. So there you go. So what did we do when we did gossip shows before the internet? The old-fashioned type. People gossiped in the halls, the classroom of our schools. And today, when we're addressing gossip, we're addressing it among young people. We want to introduce to you Rainey and her daughter Amber. They say that the rumors being spread about Amber have made learning in school almost impossible. Amber, what are they saying? Uh, they say she's a lesbian. Um, they call her a dyke. Um, a lesbian, a dyke. They say she's ugly. Um, ugly. They, they just say a lot of really mean things. Um, they do things to her. Um, she has no friends. And, you know, Amber has ADHD, so she's... it's. Uh, she, she has a little bit of a problem, and it's, it's, uh, they just kind of see that, and they just... Uh, Number one, I know what that's like when you don't learn the way other people learn, okay? But you learn the way you learn. And if the school doesn't understand their different ways of learning, then that's part of our educational system's problem, all right? Second, you're 13. Yes. You haven't decided whether you're gay or straight or up or down or sideways, and you shouldn't even think about that. that that's going to be something you're going to think about a long time from now, okay? Okay. And third of all, it isn't a bad thing to be either one. Mm -hmm. All right? That's not a bad thing. Now, as to other things they're saying, you know in your heart they're not true. Yeah. Yeah, they say she's ugly. Ugly? Yeah. She's and one of the prettiest girls we've had on this show. I, I That's know. ugly? Oh, man. man. So, we've got three people here who are really the ringleaders. Now, yeah. you walk proud. Anybody gives you any guff, you turn around and you give it right back to them. Right? That's, I, I tried to tell her that. Now, we don't know the other two girls, but I'm going to go over and talk to Jeff and his mom, okay? Okay. What does Jeff say about you? Um, he usually calls me a dyke and says I'm stupid. When I was your age, and very unpopular in school, my mother made me walk around going, I am beautiful, I am loved. I used to have to walk with a book on my head because I have bad posture. <laughs> I am beautiful, I am loved. I am beautiful, I am loved. I am beautiful, I am loved. So... Maybe we're going to give her those lessons. Let me yes. talk to Jeff and his mother right now, which must be just as hard for his mother as it is for her mother, right? It's pretty simple. Tell me what's going on here. Uh, you want to tell me first? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tell uh, me what is going on with little Amber. Well, most people around the school don't like her, so they... Why do they not ...accuse like her for being lesbian and dyke uh -huh. and bisexual. Did you start any of those rumors? Some of them. Sometimes isn't it better to stick up for somebody and not hurt their feelings? Yeah. Okay. Do you okay. see why Amber could be hurt? Yeah, because... It's I don't hard know. for her. Yeah. She doesn't have any friends. Could you she, be her friend? She tries too hard to make friends. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Okay, so here's what we want to tell Amber. Not to try hard, just to be who she is, right? Right. Okay, do you think maybe then you could be her friend if she wouldn't try so hard? Could. Yeah. How do we teach our kids to be kind to other children? These days it's kind of hard to do with... <laughs> it is. ...with the way everything goes around them. 
it is hard because you see a lot of violence on television and you see a lot of bad stuff but you can be one to break the pattern do you know that yeah you want to go okay. over and talk to amber would you be Not afraid really. to do you don't want to would you be afraid yeah would you apologize to her uh, yeah you would if she came and you'd apologize amber honey would you come here no? Okay. Let me ask her. Amber, he would like to apologize. Do you think you'd be afraid if he did that? No, but... But what? I just don't want to go over there. After all he's done to me, I'd rather not him apologize because I wouldn't even accept his apology for whatever he's done to me. Now, what are we going to do if the Palestinians and the Israelis stay here and here and nobody comes together? Are we always going to have, or Northern Ireland and Southern? Are we going to have these wars all over the world? Wars like we're seeing, conflict like we're seeing, start with an Amber and with a Jeff. Now, come with me. We're going to walk halfway. Come on. Come on. Just give me your hand. That's what it was all about. Come on. I won't let anybody hurt you, Amber. Not, not on my walk. Okay. Now you stand right here. Jeff, we're going to go halfway because that's the way we need to do it for all the countries of the world. Come on. We're going to go halfway. Right? Now all you have to do is say what's in your heart to Amber. Sorry. What? That's good. Do you say thank you for saying you're sorry? Thank you. So we had a meeting. Thank you. That was very big. You are doing better than the Palestinians and the Israelis, and you're doing better than Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland. Okay? Okay. Go to your mutual corners. Whee! Maybe we should get the Palestinians and the Israelis and the Irish. Coming up next. Is it possible to fight back against a tide of terrible lies? Yeah, it is. Stay tuned. And now from our reaction room. I don't think Jeff was sincere about his apologies, and I think the thing I'm worried about most is that he's going to retaliate when we get home. Next. And I don't even know half the people that are calling me these things. Somebody was having a contest to pick the ugliest girl in class. Two kids that we know of were almost committed suicide over this website. someone is gossiping about you, you do not have to stand back and take it. You do not. This is Allison and her mother, Catherine. When nasty rumors about Allison hit the web, the two ladies decided to confront the problem head on. Allison, this is where people are going to shake their heads. What happened to you? Um, it was one summer and I was me and my friend went back to her house and so her friend called one of her friends called and said my friend you have to go look on the computer and go to this website so we went to their website and we looked it up and we realized that she and I were both actually on it you were both on the website but for different things okay okay and so with me I was known as the ugliest girl I was getting the votes for the ugliest girl. This is the ugliest girl in class? What the heck do the other kids look like? <laughs> what do they look like? Well, what it didn't happened? stop there. It didn't? No. Um, 
then I went back to school and I was hoping that no one was going to see this. So I didn't, I don't think everybody saw it. So a couple months passed and I got sick. And so my friend calls me up and tells me, Allison, you're on another website again for the ugliest girl in school. And you're winning again. And, but this one was a lot bigger because it was schools all around. It was actually in the newspaper from where we were because actually kids in this one were actually two kids that we know of were almost committed suicide over this website because it was so bad. So I'm basically stuck where I'm looking, over, I go back to school and I don't want to go back to school after I hear this one. Right. So it was very hard for me because I would go down the hallways and people would be like, Allison, it's not Halloween anymore. You can take your mask off. Oh. Allison, I mean, and they'd be like, hey, ugly girl, what's going on? I'm walking down the hallways and I don't even know half the people that are calling me these things. You do not know them. I don't know them. And they're calling me these names. Catherine, what do you do to fight back? Okay. I, um, the first one, we did nothing because it happened during this, the summertime. And she just wanted to let it go. So I let that go. But many incidents happened even before the second website at school with other kids saying things. I started telling the school about it in December, about certain of the incidents before right, the second right, website. Right. Um, most of these things they said, well, the websites happen, you know, this is when there's no school and this isn't happening on school computers, so there's really nothing we can do. What happened was a few of the things started approaching sexual harassment and it would, ha would happen on campus because they were calling her names and da at the dance, for instance. So they started you know, thinking maybe there was something going on. But when the second website came, I went in and I said, that's it. She's not coming back to the school. You can't protect they her. They didn't help me off at all almost with education after that. They, it took me at least a couple weeks till I even got a teacher wait, almost wait, at the end of the year. Wait, you this school is not changing her, this school system is not changing her school? Well, at this point, we do not know where she's going to school in a week. And I have a week till school starts. They have not And you do not know where, where she's, she's going, going to school. school. No. I think you deserve another school. I really do. Only this too. time when you get to one, be tough. Okay? Tough. When we come back, Dr. Roger has some advice we can all use in dealing with gossip and rumors. Maybe you need to hear this because it could happen to you. Be right back. Next. Rumors and lies are always going to be there. You can see that once you're separated, how painful that is. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Web or no web, in high schools or at the office, rumors and lies are always going to be there. Here with advice on how to cope is Dr. Roger Rhodes. Now, he is actually a doctor of ministry and a counselor for families in crisis for 17 years. What's the best way to deal with hurtful gossip? Will you tell them? Well, you know, one of the things that, that it is really difficult is you can see that once you're separated and made uh, uh, to stand out, how painful that is. And so it's really, really important to find a group of friends to support you and tell you the truth. Because, you know, when you have all these people going down the hall and calling you different and calling you these names and you're hanging out by yourself, that's just going to get bigger and bigger and more powerful, and, the, and then it gets to be so painful you can't handle it. I was the most unpopular girl in my school, and my mother found the second most unpopular, and we <laughs> hung out together, and two were stronger than one, so get the next most unpopular. But what do you do about gossip like the ugliest girl and, and uh, Satan worship. I mean, this kind of crazy, and fat, this, this craziness. Well, the, the, the thing is, it may seem crazy, but it's like get, getting cut. It hurts. Even though it might seem way out there and, oh, that's goofy, and nobody wouldn't believe that, those kids in the high school still treat it like it's the truth, right? And that still hurts you no matter how weird it sounds. See, that's what's so powerful about it. Even though it's weird, it still hurts a lot. And one of the things 
that you have to do is that you have to get with people that are going to be your friends no matter what. Jennifer's got to go to a new school, and you got to find a number one friend. you got to. And, and what about Meredith? How do you walk around saying, just because I have black hair, I'm not a Satan believer? I mean, that's insane. Well, you know, when you've got someone with you, when you've got a group of friends, one, two more, who say, even if a hundred people are saying you're a Satan worshiper, but you've got someone who knows you deep down and loves you and supports you, no matter what, unconditionally. Should she go to another school? Yeah, I think Allison's overwhelmed. I think that she thinks about, you can tell when she thinks about the school and what's going on with that school, it's just too much for her. Why would you want to go someplace that every day, you know, even people out here that work. What if every day you had to go to work and people treated you like they treat her? Oh, school? it's true of the show. <laughs> I didn't want you to know. <laughs> Come on, Allison. Now, Allison, you tell me what your mom does for a living. She's an attorney. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello, school system. Hello. She's yeah. not going to let it die, is she? No, she's not. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank all our guests today for joining us, especially Dr. Rhodes. If you want to continue the conversation on gossip and rumors, you got to talk to my brother. He's my older brother, and he's bigger than you are. He <laughs> handles our website, sallyjr.com, and he'll beat you up. See you down the road. <laughs>